Hello Pickles, Queen Bee here, welcome to the channel and a new series of Father's Frontier. This city builder colony simulation is a really, really good game. Um, you play in medieval times, it's got farming, it's got mining, it's got hunting, it's got raiding, it's got trading. It's got so many layers to this game. I played a lot when, I, when it first came out and I'm hoping to bring you a series. So this is going to be the first episode. We are going to play on vanilla. Um, there are uh, like, it says five maps, but there's actually like a wasteland map, which you can implement. We might play that at another time, but we're going to play on idyllic valley, which means that we get generous amounts of resources. Um, you know, we've got rivers, we've got trees, we've got wildlife, we've got mining, we've got all the good stuff. Um, and uh, we're going to play on Trailblazer where we have the normal kind of amount of starting resources, hunting and wildlife, hostile forces are turned on and healthcare adversity is an issue. We're going to up the map size to large and I am just going to come in here and I'm going to call my town Bees Borough. I kind of like that. And we'll leave pacifist mode off. We we do want to kill things and we want them to try and kill us. And I'm super excited to try this game, guys, because there's been so many updates pushed by the devs and uh, really great content with those updates. So let's get going. Okay, so we've finished scouting the area, survey the land, um, your villagers have explored and choose a promising site to construct your town center, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so... Um, what I am doing is going in a little bit blind. I haven't found a seed that I like. Um, I'm just leaving it a bit to chance. So I'm going to have a look around. Um, I like somewhere with rivers, plenty of wood, a couple of mountains, maybe one or two mountains, um, and uh, decent resources. So I'm going to have a look around this map and uh, see what we've got. It's all pretty flat. There's a little bit of a woodland over there. It's, I thought it was a mountain. It's not. We've got a mountain over here, but it's it's got a little bit of iron, but that's about it. I don't see any gold around there. Lots of woodland. Um, some nice resources. A fishing spot here. Just the one, though. Um, this doesn't seem like the place for me. There's another fishing spot there. I'm going to re-roll the map until I find something that I like, guys. And then we'll all kind of get together, have a powwow and uh, and and start a building. Okie pokes, guys. I think I found a winner. Um, now let's have a look at this map and I'll tell you why it's a winner. We've got this area up here and you can see there's quite a few. One, two, three, four five six iron seven iron areas eight iron areas there we come over here there's a nice amount of wildlife we've got some boar over there such a boar some deer um some more deer here we've got some more deer in other areas we've got some more iron there nice amount of stone um let's just some more deer there's a couple of spots of clay. There's one over in this area as well that I've spotted. I think there's probably more than that, but definitely two. Uh, more deer here. Oh, a deer. And uh, we've got a bit of coal here. I saw some sand dotted around, can't remember. And then we've got ooh, more deer there. Right, so then we've got this water area. We've got a fishing spot there. Over here we've got some nice herbs, uh, medicinal root and herbs, which are good for treatment. Um, I think the sand is around here. We've got an endless supply of stone there. More coal. More coal. Um, there's the sand. Um, and then this, this amazingly plentiful fishing area here. Look at that. We've got one, two, three, four spots for fishing there got some reeds um it all looks pretty darn good to me 
this is a nice flattish area decent enough for us to build our town i uh, check out the fertility that's also really good so i think if we put our our, our kind of township up here maybe in uh, our fields will be down here this is not a bad possibility guys i quite like this so i am gonna set my town back a little bit maybe there and oh, let me check how far away is that from water not far at all so we'll say yes we'll get that built there we go and they all come out to play which is great we've got a load of resources around here as well um now the first thing that i want to do is tell them to harvest those trees um and maybe we get some people harvesting those trees uh in fact yeah they can do all of that and then i want them to harvest stone as well because we are going to need to put down a uh so an oak tree stump we're going to need them to put down a well quite quickly so we've got a few priorities but they need to get the town center built and let's just come into resources and we'll get them to put in a basic well it's like a 50 percent water 50 60 percent water bonus around here it's not perfect but it will do at a pinch that's 59 let's pop that there and we've got a few priorities we want food we want water we want housing we want wood for fires so in terms of wood i'm just gonna pop a firewood splitter maybe over I'm thinking my houses will probably be like here and here so industry will probably be like down here so let's just lob a firewood splitter there and to me prioritizing doesn't seem to really work but let's get that well prioritized just in case just in case pickles while they're all doing that i'll just uh, take you through a few things this is just one of the sections this is just the resource section all the resources we can build and as you can see you've got tier one which we're on tier two tier three tier four uh food production we've got farms we've got fishing we've got foragers smoke houses hunter cabins we've got um bakeries windmills barns blah blah, blah arborist building preservice building cheese makers storage just a bit in there as well housing um housing it, it, it does get better than this um amenities defenses roads and fencing um like we've got um decorations as well that can up your um the status of your houses so that they upgrade and then from upgrading you get better taxes which is brillo pads um but right now let's uh maybe what trees do we have harvested we need a few more i think let's uh, get those harvested as well there goes our well 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 they actually did it they got that built before they got this town center built built and i'm gonna probably we're gonna go in a way that i don't normally go a direction i don't normally go and i'm gonna put down a fishing shack before a hunting shack because we've got lots of great fishing spots here so let's that's going to net us, what, 170 fish? 180. What about this? 200% fish there. We'll take it. And then there's some herbs and some greens here. So I'm thinking if I put in a forager shack, that can cover this area and this area. So we get herbs and greens. Now my aim is to have houses built before winter. I am keeping it on one time speed just so that I can monitor everything a little bit. Let's maybe have a look at 
you can see that we can't see as much of the map. It's gone to like a fog of war effect. I can send somebody out like there just to explore. Um, so we will start doing that properly. Um, let's actually cancel that from for now because we don't need it. And if I come into here, I can see the resources that we have. Um, there's our root vegetables and our smoked meat. So we are bringing in a few root veg. That's nice. We've got arrows, a few weapons. 20 tools and three bows we need to get a fletcher building up so that when our hunters start a hunting we can uh, keep restocking that and our water start to come in as well which is great if we come into here you can see that we've got 11 laborers four builders um nobody other than the fire firewood splitter has a real profession other than laborers and builders um and then here we can center the camera. So if we've gone off looking at other areas of the map, we can center the camera, which is great. And look, we can come right on in close. This is what I like. We can uh, we can see the people's names, what they're doing. We can get rid of uh, the HUD, like so. We can take great photos. And get real up close and personal with our villagers, which is nice. I do like to keep the resources switched on though so that I can see what's going on. This is getting built. This is getting built. And the last building I want to put in before houses is a smokehouse. I might actually be frivolous and put two in. And you do want your firewood splitter to start working as quickly as possible so you've got some firewood for the winter. Now I'm going to just start laying in the houses. So I do want a road there. Then maybe how do I want it? I think we go one, two, three, four. Ultimately, I'm going to want six here. So let's go with that. I'm going to turn two off though, because primarily we want four built, I think. Or is it three? It's probably three, I think. So let's turn off three, get uh, three built. I'm just going to have a quick look around the map for berries. Now the berry bushes like look like this, but it says blueberry bushes. And uh, when those blueberry bushes are on the map, you can actually physically move your blueberry bushes and bring them closer to your forager shack. But I don't see any on the map right now. I'm going to just turn her off from splitting wood for a while. We've got 40 wood. Should be kind of okay for now. But I want all the wood that's cut to go into building. Oh, we've got a fisherwoman. Leanne is fishing. And we got a forager shack. Yuna is gathering greens and herbs. Predators are attacking. Oh, shit. How many predators have we got? Oh, it's dead. That's good. That can be smoked in the smokehouse. Of course, we need a hunter to butcher it. So it can't really be smoked until we find somewhere decent to place our hunter shack. And we're not there yet. So maybe we do just start to send a couple of a couple of people out on this map like that. Just to start explorigating just a little bit, pickles. Someone back in there to split firewood, because that firewood's all gone. It's gone to our fishing shack and our smokehouse and our forager's hut. There's some deer, right. So let's come into food production. And we're going to put a hunter cabin right 
there. It's not a great deer area, but uh, it's better than a kick in the teeth. Oh, and our, tr our trees are coming down. Our housing is hopefully being built. Let's get this prioritised. And uh, we are into autumn, so let's stop you chopping wood again. There we go. One's going up now. Let's pop on down and watch them build it. That little ex exclamation mark means I've prioritised this house to be built. That's great. Just for now, I'm going to kick this guy out of here. Disable that smokehouse. And then they should work on these last two houses. And then move on to our hunting cabin, which will be very nice. We'll get more food in. And just before winter, guys, we did it. Our house is going up. And then we can let them build the other stuff. Chop more wood and uh, split firewood during the winter. There we go. All of our peeps are housed and happy. Happy peeps makes a good bees borough. More people await. Amass four months supply of food and six houses. Okie popes. Right. During winter, I am going to maybe send a few more scouts out. That'll do. And we're going to put somebody in to chop firewood. It'll just limp on through. <laughs> we'll limp on through winter. So we've got seven months worth of food. We're smoking a nice amount of fish. And we've got a few greens. I love this little hanging kind of hide door here. So I'm enabling construction on the other three houses now that we're at the end of, uh, of winter. And how much did you pull in? 180 last year, but that was kind of... We only put that up partway through the year. Um, Harla is or oh, Har Harla Harla is idling, unable to work. Why? She needs more fish, I think. That's fine. That will happen. She needs more meat in general. Hoping that um, Horridane will uh, start pulling his weight. He's not killed any animals yet. He's stocking his shelter. But this is good. This is really good. We've got uh, one more house to build. Maybe we send someone down here, here and here and here just to keep exploring the area, expand the area. This is not a bad foraging area, guys. Not a bad foraging area at all. Predators are attacking from where? Oh, it's a boar. It's fine. The boars tend to run. Oh, hang on. There's a wolf there. Yeah, the boars tend to run towards the person and then kind of disappear. Let's just keep an eye on this wolf. Is he following? Nope. Let's remove that flag and maybe pop it over here. That looks like a better hunting area. A little bit further away, I think. But, yeah, those deer. Not many deer in this area. So let's relocate this down here. Like so. 
Hawthorn bushes, Hawthorn. Yeah, these are all Hawthorn as well. That sucks. And when we get a few more people, I'm going to put down one more fishing shack. But there's our six houses. Maybe we just stack up a stone or two to be harvested. We are going to need stone at a later date, so we could just, like, get that done now. This is... Oh, oh, right. This is what I was talking about, guys. Blueberry bushes. Let's get people to relocate these over here by our forager shack like so that means that our forager doesn't have to go all the ways away or we don't they don't have to well they wouldn't travel over there they're only going to travel in this area so if we bring these over here that's more stuff for them to forage and it's right next to their base so let's do that now oh god i can't remember who it was i feel really bad i'll uh, i'll have to check i've been watching a a guy um who plays quite a bit of this and he recently did a video saying that the requirement per person of food has gone up quite exponentially to be fair so uh we've got 86 firewood let's uh take you two off for a while so um that's something that we just have to be mindful of it's probably a harder experience than i remember oh there's two lots of deer in this area that's good and uh your radius just about encompasses these deer gonna be a pain and i am just gonna shift that up so it covers more of those areas don't know if it makes a difference but okay six people have arrived at your village and have plans to immigrate will you accept them into your village or turn them away we'll accept them and we will um well then just gonna have a look around here what do we want to do maybe we put something down here as a forager shack to capture these reeds so we can get hawthorn greens reeds and a few medicinal herbs that seems that seems like a good idea to me I'm probably being a little bit overzealous, but I am going to put myself in one more fishing shack. Oh, wow. That's 310%. 300%. There we go. That's going in there, definitely. Which means we probably need that smoker to start working as well. And let me check on my wood. We're going to need to harvest more. So I'm just going to select that. But guys, this is where we're going to leave it. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Check out the next episode. See how we're going on. We've got our basics in. We've got our six houses. 19 out of 24 people. A well. We've got our firewood splitter. A couple of smoke houses. A hunter. A couple of fishing shacks going in. The second one going in. And a couple of foragers. We are cooking with gas. Um, let me know what you think. Comments in the comments section. And uh, until next time, stay safe and take care.